Ruben made $3.75 an hour mowing lawns last weekend. He worked for four and two tenths of an hour. How much money did he make in total? So, our question is asking, how much money did he make in total? Our important information that will help us answer the question is, he made $3.75 an hour, and he worked for four and two tenths hours. All right, let's come up with a plan to solve this problem. I see that the same thing is happening every hour. He's making $3.75 an hour. So that tells me that we have some equal groups going on. When the same thing is happening for each group, in this case, the same thing is happening in each hour, that means our groups are equal. So here's a strategy that we use when we have equal groups going on. Okay, so when we have equal groups going on, we use a strategy called GET. The G stands for the amount of groups that we have. All right, so how many groups do we have in this problem? We have four and two tenths of an hour, All right? And then my E stands for the equal number that's, that's in each group, an equal thing that's happening in every group, right? In this case, every hour, he makes $3.75 an hour. And then my total, that is what we're looking for. The T stands for total, right? And that is what we're actually looking for in this problem. Sometimes you'll have the total in your problem. In this case, it's what we're looking for. So I'm going to put a question mark there because that's what we're trying to find. And when the total is missing, right, that gives us the clue that we are going to multiply because we have equal groups going on. So equal groups are it's going to either be multiplying or dividing. Now, in order to divide, though, you need a total to split up into those groups. We don't have a total. We're trying to find it, which means we're going to multiply. Working towards the total, you multiply. So what are we going to multiply? We are going to multiply 3 and 75 hundredths. That came from the $3.75 times 4 and 2 tenths. So when you're multiplying numbers with decimal places, digits behind the decimal point, um, the first thing you need to do is count just how many places you have behind the decimal point between your two numbers. So 3 is 75 hundredths, I have 7 and 5, that's two places behind the decimal point. And 4 and 2 tenths, I have one place behind the decimal point. So together, I have three decimals. All right, that'll come in handy later. So I have three decimal points in total. And now, now I can just multiply 375 times 42. And I'll go back and add those three decimal places at the end. So to multiply this, I am going to break up 42 into separate parts, into 40 and into 2. And I'm going to multiply each of those parts times 375. So, 0 times 375, the whole thing is just going to be 0. So I'm just going to put a 0 there and move on to my 4. All right? 4 times 5 is 20. So 4 times 5, that equals 20. I'm going to put my 0 here and save my 2 up here. Right? Now I'm going to multiply 4 times 7. 4 times 7 is 28, plus this 2 that I have carried up there. It's 29, 30. So I'm going to place my 0 here, carry the 3 up there. All right? Now 4 times 3. 4 times 3 is 12, plus the 3 that I have carried up here at the top, that's going to be 13, 14, 15. All right. Now, moving on, 
to 375 times 2. First, I have 2 times 5. 2 times 5 is 10. I'm going to carry the 1 up there. Now I have 2 times 7. 2 times 7. All right, now I have 2 times 7. 2 times 7 is 14 plus the 1 that I have up right there. That is going to be 15. Carry the 1 up here. Now, I'm going to do 2 times 3. 2 times 3 is 6, plus that one up there will be 7. So, 40 times 375 give me 15,000. And 2 times 375 give me 750. Now, i got to put those two together. 15,000 plus 750. All right, so adding it this way vertically makes it really simple. All right, zero and zero is zero. Zero plus five is five. Zero plus seven is seven. Then five has nothing to add, and one has nothing to add to it. All right, but now I have to remember I have three decimal places that I need to go back and add on. All right, from those three decimal places that it took off. So I have. One, two, three spots there. My decimal point is going to go right here. So that leaves me 15 and 75 hundredths. Don't need that zero there at the end. So how much money did he make in total? He made fifteen dollars and seventy-five cents working the four and two tenths of an hour.